Vasily was furious. Everything was confirmed. His wife Lilia had another man. He had long noticed that she had changed. She began to look after herself better. She changed her hairstyle, began to often visit a beautician. Even dressed more defiantly. He saw it, but he didn't want to believe it. How come? His wife, his Lilka and infidelities. But today he followed his wife. He asked to leave work early and went to her office. He saw Lilia leave the building and get into someone else's car. Expensive car. He followed them. The car drove into the territory of an elite residential complex. Vasily could not get inside. But that didn't stop him from seeing a man get out of the car, then open the door for Lily. And then Vasily watched for several minutes as they passionately kissed in the yard. When the wife and her lover fled in the entrance, Vasily just sat in the car for some time. Then he started it and drove home. He did not know what to do, and decided to remain silent for now. Vasily held a good position. He was valued in the company, he earned decently, but... Lily was clearly not enough. His wife dreamed of luxury. About private jets and your own yacht. I wonder if her new man can give her all that. Vasily decided to learn as much as possible about the man before speaking to his wife. He managed to make out the car number, but he didn't think it would be enough. Vasily even began to think about hiring a private detective. He called a friend who worked in the police and described the situation to him. Tell me the number, suggested Artyom. Let's find out the name of the owner. Look for it online first. Everyone can be found there now. And if you find nothing, then I will advise you some good detective. The next day, Vasily had a name. He could hardly wait for dinner. He closed the door of his office so that no one would interfere, and typed the name of the owner of the car in the search engine. Vasily's friend was right. The information was very easy to find. Five minutes later, Vasily knew that his wife's chosen one owned his own company. He turned out to be the owner of a rather large construction business. Further, Vasily found out that the man had long been divorced. He even managed to find an interview on the network in which his rival said that he dreams of a family and, most importantly, children. Now Vasya has finally realized why his wife behaves like this. She stopped hiding that she was dating someone simply because she was going to leave for him soon. Vasily could not allow this. All his male pride rebelled against such humiliation. In his opinion, Lilia did not want to have children. She said that you need to wait, that she still wants to live for herself, that she is afraid to spoil her figure. And for the sake of that. She apparently agreed to give birth. Vasily's brain was active. He was looking for a way to get revenge on his wife. The decision came to him quickly. The best way to get revenge on your wife is to have an affair yourself. And the search for a candidate will not take long. Nastyar, his wife's best friend, would be perfect for the role. Vasily and Liliar were married for five years, and during this time he managed to study Anastasia. Despite the fact that she had feelings for him, both he and his wife knew very well about it, but acting directly with Nastyar was dangerous. Luckily Lily's birthday was just weeks away. Vasily called Nastyar and offered to meet tonight. He said he wanted to surprise his wife and needed help. Anastasia immediately agreed. What are you planning? Nastyar asked as soon as they sat down in the cafe. Organize a special party. Or give some special gift. Do you know that Liliar is cheating on me? Vasily asked bluntly. I, what? Nastyar looked at the man in surprise. No, of course not. You confuse something. Nastyar cannot change you. She loves you. Nastyar, you don't have to protect her. Liliar and I have not had any feelings for each other for a long time. We live together out of habit. I realized long ago that I made a big mistake, I had to choose you, not her. Anastasia turned noticeably red. But you chose her, she said firmly. Are you married? And? Vasily moved closer and put his hand on her shoulder. Listen, he said in a whisper. 
We can change everything. Let's be happy together. Nastyar threw off his hand and stood up. Did you call me here for that? She asked angrily. How did you think I was? She shook her head. Nastyar, forgive me, Vasily carried his hand over his face. I sometimes act like a real scoundrel. Liliar, it seems to me, wants to leave. I'm nervous. And so. I didn't mean to. Don't tell her anything. Simple. Okay, Nastyar sat down again on the edge of the sofa. Are you sure Liliar is cheating? No, he replied. She's just so distant. I don't know what else to think. I think you should do something romantic for her. Have a candle at dinner. Talk. And everything will be fine again. Look, Nastyar, you're probably right, but I'm not very good at talking. I'll have Lily dinner for her birthday. I'll buy her an expensive gift. Maybe diamond earrings or a bracelet. But the conversation. Maybe you're coming next week and we'll all talk together? Well, Nastyar agreed. Vasily had a plan. For a whole week he persuaded Lila to spend the evening at home. She refused so zealously and did not even try to come up with any excuses that Vasya only established himself in the idea that Liliar would soon leave him. I wonder why she hasn't done it so far. Vasily did not amuse himself with illusions that he could keep her, he did not even try to restore their relationship. He only wanted one. Revenge. His plan was ingenious and simple. He knew that neither his wife nor her friend could drink. So all he had to do was get the girls drunk. On Saturday night, they finally got all together in the apartment. Vasily prepared thoroughly. He ordered food from his wife's favorite restaurant. And made sure there was enough wine at home. He immediately offered to drink so that everyone relaxed and the conversation went easier. Less than two hours later, both girls already wanted to sleep. Vasily was just waiting for this. He sent them to bed. I put things in order in the apartment and only after that I started action. He moved his wife to the sofa in the living room. Carefully put a pillow under her head. He even covered her. And then he took Anastasia to the bedroom. He put her on the married bed and lay down next to her. It was only left to wait for the morning. In the morning, as Vasya planned, he woke up to a loud cry from his wife. The man with a heroic effort restrained his smile and tried to take on an absent-minded appearance. What happened? He asked, wrinkling his nose as if he had a headache. Why are you screaming like that? You're crazy, or what? Liliar screamed. Did you get so drunk yesterday that you mistook us for Nastyar? Why do you sleep in the same bed? R. Vasya smiled lazily. So we had everything yesterday. Nastyar, it turns out. He smiled pointedly, not so modest. At that moment, Nastyar woke up. She looked around in fright. She pressed her hand to her forehead. Apparently, she had a severe headache. What am I doing here? She asked warily. Don't you remember? Pretending to be perplexed, Vasya asked. I just have no idea how you can forget this. Liliar looked at her husband for a long time. An understanding appeared in her eyes. You took revenge on me, right? She asked. Did you decide to hurt me? So no. Nothing came of it. I want you both to get out of this room, immediately. I don't care what happened here. I don't care what you want to say. I'll just pack up my stuff and leave. And I hope I never see you again, she told her friend. And I'll only see you in court. Anastasia hurriedly got out of bed, grabbed her belongings and fled into the bathroom. Vasily sat in the kitchen and lazily drank coffee. He felt completely satisfied. He managed to disrupt his wife's plans. You set me up, Nastyar went into the kitchen. Set up, he wondered. You've been in love with me for a long time. And here. I gave you a gift. Tell me the truth, she asked. Was there anything between us? You made it all up, right? I told the truth, Vasily replied. They don't joke with such things. 
Nastyar looked at the man with hatred and hurried to leave the apartment. Soon Liliar left. At first, Vasia was glad that everything worked out that way. But the days went by. He was alone the whole time. It turned out that he is no longer so young and attractive to the opposite sex. And he wanted home comfort, wanted someone to meet him at home. His wife filed for divorce. And she was clearly not going to return. And Vasia more and more often thought about Anastasia. Why did he choose a more glib Lyler in his time? Nastyar is economic, kind and very beautiful. For so many years she was secretly in love with him, and he. Vasily tried to call her. But Anastasia did not pick up the phone. A month after his wife left, almost driven to despair, Vasily decided to go to Nastyar's home. He was confident that he could not live without her and the day. Nastyar did not open the door for a long time. Then she threatened that she would call the police. Vasya left, but was not going to give up. The next day, he waited for her with a bouquet of flowers near work. Nastyar only raised eyebrows in surprise, but passed by. A day later, he invited her to a cafe. She refused. For a whole week Vasya waited for her after work. Finally, the girl could not stand it. She approached him herself. What do you need? she asked. Why are you following me? I miss you, Vasily replied. I feel bad without you. I was such a fool. All these years I needed you. And for some reason I chose Lilka. Nastyar, listen, a few more weeks, and we will divorce. And I will become a free person. And we can. We can't do anything, Anastasia replied. I don't believe you anymore. You're a mean and low person. And I am sorry that I admired you for so much time, with these words the girl walked around the man and went her own way. Vasily, however, left no attempt to achieve it. He still met her after work. However, she continued to just walk by. Then he thought that after everything that happened between them, she just didn't believe him. Vasya decided that he had to show that everything was serious with him. He bought the ring. And on Saturday afternoon he came to her house in full clothes. In a suit. With a bouquet. He was still standing in the yard thinking how best to propose. He picked up words to convince Nastyar to agree. But suddenly the door opened, and a shining Nastyar came to the threshold. Vasily was encouraged. She saw him through the window. She understood everything and went to meet him herself. But Nastyar did not even look in his direction. She rushed to the man who was getting out of the car that had just arrived. He picked her up in his arms and twisted her. Then he lowered her to the ground and kissed her. When is your next business trip? Nastyar asked when she could finally take a breath. Not until two months later, he replied. We'll have time to get married. Great, Nastyar laughed. Now let's go home. I missed you so much. Vasily carefully, so that he was not noticed, returned to his car. However, the lovers clearly did not care about him. They took bags out of the trunk and held hands, as if they did not want to let each other go for a minute. And Vasily looked after them and thought about why his own life did not work out and why he does not deserve happiness.